Well, hello there, guys. Agrippa Maxenius here, coming at you with something that I don't usually do on the channel, but I really wanted to touch upon this, and I'm going to have to make a video on it. Now, I am sure that a lot of you guys have different conspiracy theories about movies, games, etc., and one of my favorite movies of all time is Full Metal Jacket by Stanley Kubrick. It's just a great film, and uh, there's so much there. There's so many interesting aspects of the movie, a lot of duality in it, and I think one of the theories that I stand by to, the very, to this very day you can disagree with me is that uh, private pile um, in this case Leonard is animal mother they are the same character now there's a few reasons why I believe this theory to actually be the case and you guys might be asking yourselves you know is this guy absolutely nuts there's a few things that we have to keep in mind number one Leonard and animal mother both are very sem similar looking characters now these are not actually played by the same actor but Stanley Kubrick is known to actually do a lot of duality in his films to have two characters that appear to be similar but are actually quite different in the case of animal mother mother and Leonard. One thing that is certainly true is that both of them are not, are clearly not very intelligent individuals. Another major, major clue to suggest that these two are one and the same, or friends, or excuse me, not friends, but uh, one and the same duality, is uh, the fact that uh, Animal Mother and Leonard are both very large men that love their rifles. Uh, towards the end of training, you guys can see that Leonard becomes quite crazed, quite uh, insane. He's no longer the friendly, um, stupid uh, Marine that joins the Corps. He's now a hardened, angry, extremely angry, possibly psychotic psychotic individual who loves his rifle. Towards the end there's a scene, or towards the end of the training se sequence, there's a scene where Leonard is cleaning his rifle and he actually masters his rifle, where before Leonard was kind of a loser. He couldn't really master much of anything. Um, he couldn't figure anything out by himself, but eventually he figured it out. Now, what I believe, uh, many of you are saying, well, how could this be true? Because Animal Mother does kill Sarge, or excuse me, <laughs> um, Leonard kills Sergeant Hartman, um, shoots him in the chest, uh, etc. I believe this to be a dream sequence. That's what I think. It's my personal belief. And even if, and let me make this very clear, even if it's a real sequence, I still believe that Leonard and Animal Mother, um, the duality between the two is absolutely something you, that you cannot ignore. Um, another thing that I find very, um, very suggestive of uh, the two being the same character is the fact that you have to remember that Joker... Uh, was the only guy that was friendly to Leonard. He was the only guy that would actually sort of give Leonard the time of day, or in this case, Private Pile. You guys may know him better as Private Pile. And uh, I think there's a reason for this. Now, later on, uh, Joker is in Vietnam. He's got his camera on him. He's ready to go shoot some pictures. And uh, he, uh, interestingly enough, stumbles upon the Lonely Hearts Club. The Lonely Hearts Club being a squad. Um, and Cowboy is in the squad. Now, it's not at all unlikely, especially during Vietnam, for you to be in the same squad as people that you were in training with. This certainly happened. And I think that Cowboy became the squad leader and Leonard became Animal Mother, okay? And this is why, uh, once again, we're going to keep giving reasons as to why I believe this. Uh, you could think this is a crazy conspiracy theory, um, but... Another thing is when they meet up on that scene, um, there's a very interesting exchange between uh, Joker and uh, Animal Mother. And they sort of have a back and forth. It's sort of a friendly, but uh, you know, not so friendly back and forth um, where Animal Mother is questioning uh, because uh, you know Joker's a journalist, whether or not he has uh, the toughness, the ability uh, to come through and, and actually manage to, uh, to fight and be as tough as, as the Lonely Hearts Club. Um, in this case, I think that uh, one really interesting thing about the scene is they're trading lines from a John Wayne movie. And uh, it's funny because earlier in the boot camp scene, uh, Private Snowflake uh, was accused, of course, of, uh, of saying something, or initially accused by... Um, uh, Gunnery Sergeant Hartman of saying a John Wayne line, but it was actually Private Joker that said the John Wayne line. And I think this back and forth was a sort of friendly uh, reminder of their time in the Corps together, their time in basic training together, that now uh, Leonard, who was at once picked on by uh, Joker and uh, the rest of the Corps because of his weakness, is now a hardcore Marine where Joker is just a pitiful journalist. Uh, that's not really supposed to be in a combat situation. Another thing, and we're going to keep going here, um, why I think this is an extremely important uh, conspiracy theory, one that I think holds some merit, is um, the, 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 the 
mentioning of duality throughout the film. And we know that throughout, throughout Full Metal Jacket, duality is a huge thing. Uh, Private Joker or Light likes to actually put uh, a peace symbol on top of his helmet, but next to that, he's got something, I believe it's Born to Kill, um, something re referencing killing, and I'm sorry, I don't have the movie right here. Um, and uh, he's actually approached by a commanding officer who says, uh, son, what is that, some kind of sick joke? I think this could also reference back to the shooting scene, um, some kind of sick joke. In this case, a Kubrick referencing to the viewers that the shooting scene is not real, it's a joke um, referencing what Private Pyle would like to do to Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. And uh, in the same sense, we reference the duality again, some kind of sick joke, why do you have a peace symbol uh, and born to kill and in the same sense Leonard started off as a very very weak individual someone that you could probably say seemed pretty friendly pretty nice um, and turned into a hardcore killing machine um, finally before I end and I could keep going through this guys because I absolutely love Kubrick's work I've studied this stuff quite a lot um, another scene that I think is very telling of, uh, of the duality between these two characters is the scene when um, Eight Ball gets shot and killed. Um, and then Animal Mother goes on a crazy rampage and he says, guys, I'm gonna attack, I'm going forward here. Uh, he starts attacking the building. And this is really interesting because for a few seconds as he's hunkering down, now Animal Mother, you guys can see throughout the entire um, thing is extremely, extremely, um, uh, tough you know he's not afraid of anybody he's not afraid of anything uh, you know he could he could eat uh, logs for breakfast without so much as complaining uh, that's just the kind of guy he is but for a few seconds he breaks down and uh, he actually reverts back to Leonard and he's scared um, you can actually see it in his face and then of course he puts his war face on again again a reference back to uh, gunnery sergeant Hartman he puts on his war face and uh, he's back in the animal mother mode he's no longer the weak private Leonard um, another thing is, uh, and this is interesting again, and let me, I, I'm doing this all in the moment, guys. I'm, I don't have any, any of this written down whatsoever, so uh, I'm kind of trying to piece things together, um, different things that suggest this. Um, let's go out here for a second. All right, so essentially um, another thing that is very important is that Gunnery Sergeant Hartman uses a Marine Corps term, and that Marine Corps term is born again hard. And I think this is exactly what the transformation of Private Pile to Animal Mother is um, in this conspiracy theory. And this is why I think ultimately they are one and the same. Um, Private Pile was a weak uh, scallop of a man, unable to fight, uh, unable to use a rifle. But he was born again hard through the core and uh, through all of the terrible things that they did to him. I mean, well, you, some could say it was terrible. Others would say just tough love. Um, they managed to toughen him up and turn him into a killing machine. Machine. Because remember, the entire point of the Marine Corps, especially in Full Metal Jacket, is to turn its men into killing machines. Um, that's the job, and that's actually something Gunnery Sergeant Hartman says earlier in the film. Um, so this is my belief. I, I'm sure a lot of people will disagree. I'd love you guys to put some suggestions down below as to why you don't think it's true or why you agree with me. Um, but I would love to hear your opinions, and obviously I will try to respond to them. This is something I've never done before on the channel, but let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and have an awesome, awesome day.